Hi, this is Andy from Michigan Pool News. I'm from Aquatic Source. This month, it's on the Defender filter. Uh, we're on site at one of our uh, accounts, and we have one of the Defender filters. This is a control panel. We've got a set of gauges up here that we're looking at that it apps, helps you know when you have to replace the media that's inside. This is regenerative, so every day automatically the shuts down, goes through a bump cycle, which shakes all the, the perlite off the elements inside. Then it goes into a pre-coat where it puts it back on along with the dirt so you get prolonged life out of your media. Eventually you do have to dump it out and we'll go over how that's done. If we were coming in here manually doing this, this is on automatic, we'd actually run over to the manual, the pump will shut off, you hit the cycle start and hit the, the bump start. I'm going to have to start all over again, it won't bump. There it goes. Right now what's happening is it's shaking these elements up and down and you can see that the media that's inside here is being shaken off. It bumps about 10 times. You can see it now, it's really stirring it up. The noise you've got in the background is an air compressor that's making the bump cycle operate. When the pump is off, our gauges are at zero. At that time, the effluent gauge or the valve that goes back to the pool is closed and a re-precoat line that goes back to the front side of the pump is open. It'll go through this cycle, the 10 uh, bump, then it will restart the pump. And this is on a uh, VFD, so it's a slow start. The pump is coming online now, and you'll see the gauges start going up. All it's doing is readjusting where the earth, along with the dirt and the rust, back onto the element. These are getting pretty close to the time where they, he's going to have to replace the media in here. Uh, it's got a lot of debris that's being caught in there. This will run approximately 10 minutes, and as it's doing it, the site glass gets clearer. When it's all done, it would automatically go back into filter mode, opening up the return valve and closing off the, the pre-coat line that goes in front of the pump. Uh, while this is regenerating right now, periodically when you do have to uh, dump the media, you're going to go through the same bump cycle. But after you get done, you're going to end up opening up a drain valve at the bottom of the filter and it runs it to the sewer. After you've drained it out, then you'll go through the cycle of starting the pump back up. It will fill the tank back up to the top. You shut the pump back off and you'll hit the bump cycle again. It will shake it back up with fresh water in. You do that a couple of times by draining it out into the sewer. You're discharging all of that product. After you've done that, changing a few valves, then you would actually open up a bag of the perlite and the amount that's needed, turn on the vacuum that's mounted and this sucks it out of the, uh, the bag as a dry product. It's put it back in there, then it goes back into pre-coat mode, it takes the new product, redistributes it on the elements, and you're good for another, could be a month, could be five, six weeks. As you see, the water in here is getting clearer, the debris is, uh, and the perlite is now sticking to the element. Like I say, this can take about five minutes, or, or ten minutes rather. After this is clear, the valves will change and it goes back into filter mode and then you're back online. You can see how you can start seeing it clear. The heavy debris is falling in that window. You want to keep going? It still has another four or five minutes of uh, pre-coat time. Uh, after it gets done, this will automatically, it'll go back into filter mode, change the valve, and it's all by itself. If you put it in the automatic mode with the timer, it does this all by itself before you get in in the morning. You won't even see this happening. 
Again, this is Andy from Michigan Pool News. Thank you very much.